Back to Livermore now as Amateur Valley takes on Mitty. The Monarchs playing great defense early. Kara Edwards dives to make a spectacular catch and right. No score after one. Top two now in Lindsey Miller with a swing and a drive to deep center. Away back. Gone. A two run shot from the future Kentucky Wildcat. And it's 2 nothing Monarchs after two. Mitty looking to add on in the fifth, but McKenna Charbonneau fires a strike to Mai Falcone to nab the runner at second. Still 2 nothing Mitty after five. Amateur Valley gets a run on an error in the sixth. Then Charbonneau shoots it to left for a base hit. Madison Atari scores and the game is tied at two. The Monarchs looking to retake the lead in the seventh, but Kaylee Davis gets one of her eight punch outs on the game here. Amateur Valley trying to walk it off in the bottom half, but Kylie Mace gets the strikeout and keeps the Dons off the scoreboard. So we go to extra innings to the eighth now and Mia Rodriguez crushes one dive to center field that falls in and one hops the fence for a stand-up double then a couple batters later McKenna Valichko goes the other way that's a fair ball as Mia Rodriguez comes in the Monarchs get another one to make it 4-2 then it's Miller with a shot to center goodbye home run a three-run jack for the future Wildcat as Mitty beats Amateur Valley in eight innings Lindsey Miller with two bombs and five ribbies for the Mitty Monarchs. I'm Robert Bronstein. And I'm Aubrey Tolliver. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check back every Sunday night. And watch us every Sunday night at 6 and 10 p.m. on NBC Sports California. We'll see you at the games.